The writer of this article who is also the founder of All Things Dogs is John Woods, a professional dog trainer and an expert in dog behavior. If your friend isn't talking to you, it's impossible to understand their feelings. Quite a good number of people think that they can be able to know what a friend who is scared, happy, or in a state of amusement feels. But does this apply to our dogs? Is it possible to tell how your dog is feeling? Is there a way we can understand the needs of our best friends, dogs? Well, dog trainers have over the last two decades using the abbreviation BET in a bid to help dog owners understand the feelings and emotions of their dogs. They do this by looking at the body, eyes, and tail. Figuring out the needs of our dogs becomes a bit easier when we know the things we are looking for. Tail wagging does it mean your dog is happy, most of the times, when a dog wags its tail, we interpret this as a sign of joy and excitement. Mostly, this could be the case, but do not ignore the body language as this could tell you more. Tail wagging could also mean the dog is frightened or unsure of the next thing. If you see your dog avoiding looking at you, and tail hanging lowly, while wagging, it's an indication your dog is scared. It's therefore essential not to ignore other body parts because tail wagging does not always mean a happy dog. Sometimes it's a prolonged pause, or it goes away very fast, and if you don't know what to look for things may get out of hand very fast because if the dog feels threatened, they could feel the urge to attack. The dog is in a motionless and stiffness state. This is the state preceding a bite. A roll over, does it mean a dog wants to play? If you come across your dog rolling over on the ground while lifting their legs in the air, what does this mean? In most cases, a rollover means no threat around, and the dog wants a light touch from you. However, you must look at the other body parts, including the tail. Check to see if the dog's tail is wagging or if the tail is tucked underneath. Never ignore the overall body language of your dog and the situation around before figuring out the feelings of your dog. On the other hand, if a dog's ears are in a flat position and pinned aside, it could be a fear or hostility. Once again, look at the whole body. Anytime you see your dog behaving in a way you do not understand, always remember the three letters. Bet to know if you can figure out what your dog is telling you. Blog page, BarkPooch.com Facebook fan page, Twitter and Instagram, I love my dogs. We hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates.